Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kelly Moto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Thunder Hill Raceway West and home base where today we have three bikes, two 300s and a 660. And I'm going to let you guess in the comment section down below which of these three bikes I like the best today. Now let's talk about the uh, Kawasaki 300 and the reason why I don't like the Kawasaki 300 today. Uh, it is not my favorite and uh, one of the reasons is the toe pegs a little bit too low the shifters too low um i really just couldn't get a good love of this bike the rs660 well i'm just about over the rs660 and uh, we'll talk about this at a later date in a later video but i really have not enjoyed the rs660 in the two sessions that i had it out today mainly because coming out here in the last corner, I have to downshift into first to get any drive. The flat spot below five, 6,000 RPMs is just absolutely horrible. And I'm really, really disliking it more and more when I ride this thing. I've got to rev the piss out of it. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been revving the piss out of the R3 today, but the R3 today is the winner. And um, this bike is just something else. I just, I don't know what we've done to this bike but it just feels absolutely perfect so today for our very last session we're going to be back out on the r3 and uh, i'm a little disappointed that we brought these two i left the street fighter at home and um well i'll take this so this is our 2015 yamaha r3 this is bogna's bike and uh, I, it's just been an absolute, absolute joy out here today. I absolutely love everything about this bike. And um, so we're going to run out on our final session on this thing. Now, I didn't get a session on Bogna's V2 because basically she has been riding it all day. And we're a little bit exhausted, so we're running out. run out in the R3. No, no, no window, no release. Were you ready? Are you ready, Ninja? All right. I was like, which one does he, which way does he go? Which way is he going? Are right, you ready? All right, well, this is Tony with some of the motorcycle shop. Let me see if I can keep up with her so Tony and Corey a longtime friends of ours they are uh, they are the reason we got into 300s I mean it's Corey was like oh you have to get a 300 you have to get a 300 I'm 6'2 230 pounds throw on some gear and it just it's just uh it's not a good combination for an R3, but I will tell you, the very first time I ever rode this bike was out here at Thunder Hill West, and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with the 300s, and we've tried selling this bike a couple times, and last time, Bogner was like, no, I love it too much, let's not sell it. And then I said to her today, I said, you know what, babe, let's keep this bike, let's keep it in the collection. So, I don't think the R3 is ever going to go anywhere. I love this bike. So, I'm going to I'm just going to give you guys a little bonus ride, a little focus. Do a little riding with Tony. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy our final ride out here at Thunder Hill West on my pick of the day the 2015 Yamaha R3 
And look at this. So I know we were doing bonus rides, but look who's behind us. Corey from some motorcycle shop. What's up, Corey? I got your woman for a session. <laughs> I'm sure Corey will pop in here.
Best session of the day. Woo! Yes. I don't know that I could have had that session on the Ducati. I don't know that I could. I definitely didn't have that session on the RS660. What's up, little buddy? You're pretty quick on that thing. I get runs on you, like coming into the Wait, what are you saying? What are you saying? Because I'm fat, I can't be fast on a 300? It's impressive. <laughs> I get runs on you, but it's like if I pass him, it's a fucking beyond dick move. So yeah. You didn't make any mistakes or any reason to let me buy. That was fun. I was on your ass the whole time. There's a good video. Nice. Got a little bit, got a little bit with Tony. Yeah. And then, uh, and then you had to butt in. Yeah. So... Um, slide you up a little bit. Slide. Was this? This was? Yeah, in seven. Oh, shit. She, I, she slowed you up a little bit, so I dipped up the inside of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her later and you got her. And yeah. Off. By far the best session. And, you know, out of all the bikes, I was saying this is, this is, I don't, this isn't going anywhere. I love this bike. I absolutely I, I would get runs on you down the straightaway, but, like, I would be pulling up, almost touching your rear wheel at the start finish line. So, it's like, I got to back off. Yeah. It's impressive how fast that bike is. This, bi this bike compared to that 300, oh, you know, sure. I mean, it just, it was like, it was like a, a tortoise in the hair. And so I love it. I love it. But thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you for an amazing ride. Thanks, babe, for letting me ride this thing. As I said, I, it's, it's not going anywhere. So might as well start doing some more upgrades to this. I'm thinking, uh, you know, maybe a, throw a master on this. Get a get a big brake caliper kit, uh, bore it out, get 3,000 horsepower out of this thing. <laughs> I, honestly, there's not much that I think that this bike needs. So today's pick, the 2015 R3 over the 660 over the Cowie 300. Great day, babe. You ready to pack up and get out of here? I'm ready. Oh, she's already packed up, ready to roll. Thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, I know you guys are probably disappointed that I didn't pick this and that I didn't ride this, but I am equally disappointed in this bike right now. So see you on the street. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next video. Bye guys.